Welcome to Financial Freedom, a step-by-step -step guide to building wealth. Written by Better Life Library, this audiobook is self-published. Prelude, Financial Freedom, a step-by-step -step guide to building wealth. In today's fast-paced world, financial independence often feels like an elusive dream. Many of us are caught in the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck, burdened by debt, and overwhelmed by financial uncertainties. Yet, the desire for financial freedom, where we can live life on our own terms, without constant monetary worries, is a common aspiration. This book is designed to turn that aspiration into reality. E Financial Freedom, a step-by-step -step guide to building wealth offers practical advice and proven strategies to help you take control of your financial future. Whether you're just starting out or seeking to enhance your financial journey, this guide provides the tools and insights needed to build and preserve wealth. You'll learn how to lay a solid financial foundation, master budgeting and saving, grow your income through multiple streams, make wise investment decisions, and protect your hard-earned wealth. Each chapter breaks down complex financial concepts into easy-to-understand steps, empowering you to make informed decisions and stay on track toward achieving your financial goals. Embark on this transformative journey to financial freedom. With dedication, discipline, and the right strategies, you'll discover that financial independence is not just a dream, but an attainable reality. Chapter 1. Laying the Foundation Achieving financial freedom begins with a solid foundation. Just as a house requires a sturdy base to stand the test of time, your journey to financial independence depends on understanding key principles and setting the right groundwork. In this chapter, we will explore what financial independence truly means and why it is crucial for a fulfilling life. We will guide you through the process of evaluating your current financial situation, offering practical methods to assess your income, expenses, assets, and liabilities. This self-assessment is essential for identifying areas that need improvement and for understanding your starting point. Lastly, we will focus on setting financial goals. Creating realistic, measurable, and time-bound goals is a vital step in turning your financial dreams into achievable targets. By the end of this chapter, you will have a clear vision of what financial freedom looks like for you and the initial steps to begin your journey. The Freedom Blueprint Understanding Financial Independence Financial freedom is more than just a buzzword. It's a state of being where your financial resources are sufficient to support the lifestyle you desire without being dependent on a regular paycheck. It means having the ability to make choices that are not solely influenced by financial constraints. Defining financial freedom involves recognizing its multifaceted nature. At its core, it means having enough savings, investments, and income streams to afford the kind of life you want for yourself and your family. It's about the peace of mind that comes with knowing you can handle emergencies, pursue opportunities, and retire comfortably without financial stress. The importance of financial freedom cannot be overstated. It provides the security to face life's uncertainties, the flexibility to seize new opportunities, and the capacity to retire with dignity. Financial freedom allows you to focus on what truly matters whether it's spending time with loved ones, pursuing passions, or giving back to the community, without being hindered by financial limitations. Understanding and achieving financial independence is the first crucial step on your journey to a more fulfilling and secure life. This chapter will guide you through the principles and practices that lay the foundation for this essential goal. Financial Reality Check – Assessing Your Current Financial Situation before embarking on the journey to financial freedom, it is crucial to understand your starting point. A comprehensive evaluation of your current financial situation provides the clarity needed to make informed decisions and set achievable goals. This section outlines a step-by-step -step method to assess your income, expenses, assets, and liabilities, forming the basis for your financial plan. Step 1. Track your income. 1. Identify all income sources. List all sources of income, including your salary, side hustles, investment returns, rental income, and any other sources. 2. Calculate total monthly income. Add up all sources to determine your total monthly income. 
This figure represents the money available to cover your expenses and contribute to savings. Step 2. Analyze your expenses. 1. Gather expense data. Collect receipts, bank statements, and credit card statements for the past three months. This helps ensure you capture all recurring and occasional expenses. 2. Categorize expenses. Break down your expenses into categories such as housing, utilities, groceries, transportation, entertainment, insurance, and debt payments. This detailed breakdown will help identify spending patterns. 3. Calculate average monthly expenses. Determine the average amount spent in each category per month. This provides a clear picture of your spending habits and highlights areas where you might cut back. Step 3. Evaluate your assets. 1. List all assets. Include everything you own that has monetary value, such as real estate, vehicles, investments, savings accounts, and personal property, e.g., jewelry, electronics. 2. Determine the value of each asset. Estimate the current market value of each item. For financial accounts, use the current balance. For physical assets, use the fair market value. 3. Calculate total assets. Add the values of all assets to get your total asset figure. This represents the wealth you have accumulated. Step 4. Assess your liabilities. 1. List all debts. Include all outstanding debts such as mortgages, car loans, student loans, credit card balances, and personal loans. 2. Record the amount owed. Note the current balance of each debt, along with the interest rate and monthly payment. 3. Calculate total liabilities. Sum up the balances of all debts to determine your total liabilities. This figure represents your financial obligations. Step 5. Determine your net worth. 1. Calculate net worth. Subtract your total liabilities from your total assets. The resulting figure is your net worth, a key indicator of your financial health. 2. Analyze your net worth. A positive net worth indicates that you own more than you owe, while a negative net worth means you owe more than you own. Understanding this figure helps set realistic goals and strategies for improvement. Step 6. Monitor and review regularly. 1. Set a schedule. Regularly review and update your financial assessment, ideally on a monthly or quarterly basis. This ensures you stay on track and adjust for any changes in income, expenses, assets, or liabilities. 2. Track progress. Keep records of each assessment to track your financial progress over time. Celebrate improvements and identify areas that need further attention. By thoroughly assessing your current financial situation, you gain a clear understanding of where you stand financially. This knowledge is empowering. It allows you to make informed decisions, set realistic goals, and create a plan tailored to your unique circumstances. With a solid foundation in place, you are better equipped to embark on the journey to financial freedom. Goal Setting Mastery Crafting Realistic and Achievable Financial Goals Setting financial goals is a fundamental step in the journey to financial freedom. Goals provide direction, motivation, and a clear path forward. Without them, it is easy to lose focus and miss opportunities for growth. In this section, we will explore the importance of financial goals, introduce the concept of smart goals, and provide guidance on how to create your own. The importance of financial goals. Financial goals act as a roadmap for your financial journey. They help you prioritize spending, saving, and investing, ensuring that your efforts are aligned with your long-term aspirations. Goals give you a sense of purpose and control, transforming vague desires into actionable plans. By setting clear targets, you can track your progress, celebrate milestones, and stay motivated even when challenges arise. Understanding SMART Goals SMART goals are a proven framework for setting effective and achievable objectives. The acronym SMART stands for Specific, clear and well-defined goals that answer the who, what, where, when, and why. Measurable, 
goals that include criteria for tracking progress and determining when they are achieved. Achievable. Realistic goals that are attainable given your current resources and constraints. Relevant. Goals that are aligned with your broader financial aspirations and priorities. Time-bound. Goals with a defined timeline, creating a sense of urgency and focus. How to create smart financial goals. 1. Specific. Define exactly what you want to achieve. A specific goal should answer questions like. What do I want to accomplish? Why is this goal important? Who is involved? Where will it take place? Example. ZI want to save $10,000 for a down payment on a house to provide a stable home for my family within the next two years. 2. Measurable. Establish criteria to measure your progress. This involves setting benchmarks and indicators of success. How much? How many? How will I know when it is accomplished? Example. VI will save $10,000 by setting aside $417 each month for 24 months. 3. Achievable. Ensure your goal is realistic and attainable. Consider your current financial situation and any potential obstacles. How can I accomplish this goal? Is the goal within my control? Example. ZI can achieve this goal by cutting discretionary spending, such as dining out and entertainment, and redirecting that money into my savings account. 4. Relevant. Your goal should matter to you and align with other relevant goals. Does this seem worthwhile? Is this the right time? Does this match my other efforts slash needs? Example. Just saving for down payment is relevant because owning a home aligns with my long-term goal of financial stability and providing for my family. 5. Time-bound. Set a deadline to create a sense of urgency. When? What can I do six months from now? What can I do today? Example. ZI will have saved $10,000 by the end of 24 months, breaking it down into monthly savings targets. Examples of Smart Financial Goals 1. Emergency Fund ZI will build an emergency fund of $5,000 within one year by saving $420 per month, cutting unnecessary subscriptions, and setting up automatic transfers to my savings account. 2. Debt Reduction ZI will pay off $8,000 of credit card debt in 18 months by making monthly payments of $445 reducing discretionary spending, and applying any bonuses or tax refunds towards the debt. Setting smart financial goals transforms your aspirations into clear, actionable plans. It provides you with a structured approach to achieving financial independence, ensuring that your efforts are focused and effective. By following this framework, you can create goals that are not only ambitious but also attainable, keeping you motivated and on track toward financial freedom. The cons. While smart goals provide a solid foundation, they often lack detailed actions on how to accomplish them. This can leave you with clear goals, but without a clear roadmap for achieving them. The 12 week year. Turning goals into actionable tasks. The book The 12 week year by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lennington addresses this gap by breaking down goals into actionable tasks. The core idea of the 12-week year is to redefine your year as 12 weeks instead of 12 months, creating a sense of urgency and focus that traditional annual goals lack. By condensing your time frame, you are forced to prioritize and execute tasks more effectively. How the 12-week year enhances smart goals 1. Set specific 12-week goals. Start with a smart goal, but tailor it to fit a 12-week period. This short-term focus creates a sense of urgency. Example, instead of EI want to save $10,000 in two years, just set a 12-week goal like GI want to save $1,250 in the next 12 weeks. 2. Break goals into weekly tasks. Identify the actions required to achieve your goal and break them down into weekly tasks. This makes the goal more manageable and keeps you on track. Example, if your 12-week goal is to save $1,250, your weekly tasks might include Week 1. 
set up an automatic transfer of $100 to your savings account. Week 2. Review and cut back on discretionary spending. Week 3. Find ways to earn extra income, such as freelancing or selling in used items. 3. Execute daily. Each day, focus on completing specific tasks that contribute to your weekly objectives. This daily execution ensures consistent progress and prevents procrastination. 4. Track and review. Regularly review your progress at the end of each week. Adjust your strategies if necessary to stay on track for your 12-week goals. Example of applying the 12-week year. Goal. Save $1,250 in 12 weeks. 1. Week 1. Set up an automatic transfer of $100 to your savings account. 2. Week 2. Cut back on discretionary spending by $50 per week. 3. Week 3. Find additional income sources to contribute an extra $100 per week. 4. Week 4. Evaluate your progress and adjust your budget if needed. 5. Weeks 5 to 12. Continue the same pattern, tracking and adjusting as necessary. By breaking down your goals into actionable tasks, the 12-week year approach ensures that you not only set smart goals, but also have a clear plan to achieve them. This method increases accountability, maintains focus, and accelerates your progress towards financial freedom. Listen to the 12-week year audiobook. To gain a deeper understanding of the 12-week year and how it can transform your goal-setting approach, you can listen to the full audiobook on the Better Life Library. Find the link to the audiobook in the description of this video. By applying the principles from the 12-week year, you can turn your financial goals into reality with focused and actionable steps. Conclusion In this chapter, we have established a strong foundation for your journey to financial freedom. By understanding the concept and significance of financial independence, you can appreciate why this goal is worth pursuing. Assessing your current financial situation is crucial as it provides a clear picture of where you stand and what needs improvement. Setting smart goals, while understanding their limitations, gives you a structured approach to achieving your financial aspirations. Remember, breaking down these goals into actionable tasks, as suggested by the 12-week year method, can significantly enhance your chances of success. With a solid foundation in place, you are now ready to move forward. The next step in your journey is to master budgeting and saving. In Chapter 2, we will explore techniques for creating a sustainable budget that aligns with your financial goals, effective saving strategies to increase your savings and build an emergency fund, and methods to identify and cut unnecessary expenses. These essential skills will empower you to take control of your finances and pave the way toward achieving your financial dreams. Chapter 2. Mastering Budgeting and Saving Achieving financial freedom requires more than just understanding the concepts, it demands practical skills and disciplined habits. Mastering budgeting and saving is a crucial step in this journey. It's about changing your mindset, building consistent habits, and making your finances a priority. Effective budgeting and saving are the bedrock of financial health. They provide the structure needed to manage your money wisely, ensure you're living within your means, and allow you to allocate resources toward your financial goals. Developing these skills is not just about restricting spending, but about making intentional choices that align with your values and long-term aspirations. Changing your financial mindset involves viewing money as a tool to create opportunities and security, rather than a source of stress. It requires a shift from impulsive spending to thoughtful planning, from immediate gratification to long-term benefits. Building these habits takes time and commitment, but the rewards are substantial. Greater financial stability, reduced stress, and the ability to pursue your dreams with confidence. By making your finances a priority, you lay the groundwork for a secure and prosperous future. This chapter will equip you with the essential skills and mindset shifts needed to master budgeting and saving, setting you on the path to financial independence. Blueprint for Success Creating a Sustainable Budget Creating a sustainable budget is a crucial step of financial freedom. A well-crafted budget acts as a roadmap, 
guiding you toward your financial goals and ensuring you stay on track. It's more than just tracking income and expenses, it's about aligning your spending with your values and long-term objectives. Here, we explore techniques for building a budget that supports your financial aspirations and fosters a healthier relationship with money. Step 1. Understand your financial goals. Before you can create a budget, you need to have a clear understanding of your financial goals. These goals will influence how you allocate your resources and prioritize your spending. Whether you're saving for a home, planning for retirement, or building an emergency fund, your budget should reflect these priorities. 1. Short-term goals. These might include saving for vacation, paying off a specific debt, or setting aside money for holiday expenses. 2. Medium-term goals. These could involve saving for down payment on a house, funding further education, or building a robust emergency fund. 3. Long-term goals. These typically encompass retirement planning, long-term investments, and financial independence. Step 2. Track your income and expenses. To create a realistic budget, you need an accurate picture of your financial inflows and outflows. Start by tracking all sources of income and categorizing your expenses over a few months. This will help you identify patterns and areas for improvement. 1. List all sources of income. Include your salary, side hustles, investment income, rental income, and any other sources of funds. 2. Categorize expenses. Break down your spending into categories such as housing, utilities, groceries, transportation, entertainment, insurance, and debt payments. Step 3. Differentiate between fixed and variable expenses. Understanding the difference between fixed and variable expenses is crucial for effective budgeting. 1. Fixed expenses. These are regular, recurring costs that remain relatively constant each month, such as rent or mortgage payments, insurance premiums, and utility bills. 2. Variable expenses. These costs can fluctuate from month to month, including groceries, dining out, entertainment, and discretionary spending. Step 4. Set spending limits. Based on your income and expense tracking, set realistic spending limits for each category. This ensures you allocate your resources efficiently and avoid overspending. 1. Essentials. Allocate a portion of your income to essential expenses like housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. 2. Savings and investments. Prioritize a portion of your income for savings and investments, aiming to save at least 20% of your income if possible. 3. Discretionary spending. Allocate a portion for discretionary expenses, ensuring this amount aligns with your financial goals. Step 5. Implement the 50-30-20 rule. The 50-30-20 rule is a popular budgeting guideline that helps balance spending and saving. 1. 50% for needs. Allocate half of your income to essential expenses such as housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. 2. 30% for wants. Set aside 30% for discretionary spending, including dining out, entertainment, and hobbies. 3. 20% for savings and debt repayment. Dedicate the remaining 20% to savings, investments, and paying off debt. Step 6. Automate your savings. To ensure you consistently save money, automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account or investment accounts. This reduces the temptation to spend and makes saving a seamless part of your financial routine. Step 7. Review and adjust regularly. A sustainable budget is not static. It requires regular review and adjustment to reflect changes in your financial situation and goals. 1. Monthly review. At the end of each month, review your budget to compare your actual spending against your planned spending. Identify any discrepancies and adjust your budget as necessary. 2. Quarterly adjustments. Re-evaluate your budget quarterly to account for any significant changes in income, expenses, or financial goals. This helps keep your budget aligned with your evolving financial landscape. Step 8. Use budgeting tools and apps. 
leverage technology to streamline the budgeting process. Numerous budgeting tools and apps can help you track income, expenses, and savings in real time. Some popular options include 1. Mint, a comprehensive tool that tracks all your accounts, categorizes expenses, and provides insights into your spending habits. 2. Inab, you need a budget focuses on giving every dollar a job and helps you proactively plan for future expenses. 3. PocketGuard, shows how much money you have available to spend after accounting for bills, goals, and necessities. Step 9. Build a buffer. Aim to build a financial buffer or cushion within your budget. This buffer can help cover unexpected expenses without derailing your financial plan. Start with a small amount, such as $100 to $200, and gradually increase it as your financial situation improves. Creating a sustainable budget is a dynamic process that requires discipline, commitment, and regular adjustments. By aligning your budget with your financial goals, tracking your income and expenses, and making informed spending decisions, you can build a solid foundation for financial success. Remember, a well-crafted budget is not about restricting your lifestyle, but about empowering you to make choices that support your long-term financial well-being. Building your safety net, effective saving strategies. Increasing your savings and building an emergency fund are critical components of financial security. Savings provide a cushion for unexpected expenses, help you avoid debt, and create opportunities for future investments. Here, we'll explore a range of strategies to boost your savings and establish a robust emergency fund. Step 1. Establish clear savings goals. 1. Define your objectives. Identify what you are saving for, whether it's an emergency fund, a down payment on a house, or retirement. Clear goals provide motivation and direction. 2. Set specific targets. Determine how much you need to save for each goal. For an emergency fund, a common recommendation is to save three to six months' worth of living expenses. Step 2. Pay yourself first. 1. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account. This ensures you consistently save money without relying on willpower. 2. Prioritize savings over spending. Treat your savings as a non-negotiable expense, just like rent or utilities. By prioritizing savings, you make it a habit rather than an afterthought. Step 3. Create a dedicated emergency fund. 1. Open a separate account. Keep your emergency fund in a separate savings account to avoid the temptation to use it for everyday expenses. Consider a high-yield savings account for better interest rates. 2. Start small and build gradually. Begin with a modest goal, such as saving $500. Once you reach that milestone, set a higher target. Incremental goals make the task less daunting and more achievable. Step 4. Increase your income. 1. Side hustles and freelancing. Explore opportunities to earn extra income through side jobs, freelancing, or gig economy work. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, or local job listings can help you find suitable gigs. 2. Utilize your skills and hobbies. Turn your skills or hobbies into income-generating activities. For example, if you're good at graphic design, consider offering your services online. Step 5. Reduce unnecessary expenses. 1. Review and cut subscriptions. Regularly review your subscriptions and memberships. Cancel those that you no longer use or need. Services like streaming, gym memberships, and magazine subscriptions can add up. 2. Opt for generic brands. Switch to generic or store brands for groceries and household items. They often offer the same quality as name brands, but at a lower cost. Step 6. Optimize your spending. 1. Use cashback and rewards programs. Take advantage of cashback offers and rewards programs for credit cards and shopping apps. This can help you save money on purchases you already make. 2. Buy in bulk. Purchase non-perishable items in bulk to save money in the long run. 
Be mindful of storage space and expiration dates. Step 7. Implement the 24-hour rule. 1. Delay non-essential purchases. When considering a non-essential purchase, wait 24 hours before buying. This cooling-off period helps reduce impulse buying and ensures you're making thoughtful decisions. 2. Evaluate necessity and value. After 24 hours, ask yourself if the purchase is necessary and if it provides significant value. Often, the desire to buy will diminish with time. Step 8. Save windfalls and bonuses. 1. Allocate extra income. When you receive unexpected income such as bonuses, tax refunds, or gifts, allocate a portion, or all, of it to your savings or emergency fund. This can significantly boost your savings without affecting your regular budget. 2. Set aside a percentage. Decide on a percentage of any windfall that will go directly into your savings. For example, commit to saving 50% of any bonus or extra income. Step 9. Monitor and adjust your savings plan. 1. Track your progress. Regularly monitor your savings progress to stay motivated and ensure you're on track to meet your goals. Use budgeting apps or spreadsheets to keep detailed records. 2. Adjust as needed. Life circumstances change, and so should your savings plan. Review and adjust your savings goals and strategies periodically to reflect changes in your financial situation or priorities. Step 10. Reward yourself for milestones. 1. Celebrate achievements. Reward yourself for reaching significant savings milestones. Choose small, meaningful rewards that don't derail your savings plan, like a special dinner or a small treat. 2. Stay motivated. Celebrating your progress keeps you motivated and reinforces positive savings habits. Recognize the effort and discipline it takes to save consistently. By implementing these effective saving strategies, you can significantly increase your savings and build a robust emergency fund. This financial safety net provides peace of mind, protects you from unexpected expenses, and lays the foundation for a secure and prosperous future. Remember, saving is not just about setting money aside. It's about creating a sustainable habit that supports your long-term financial well-being. Streamlining your finances identifying and eliminating wasteful spending. In the pursuit of financial freedom, cutting unnecessary expenses is a powerful strategy that can free up significant resources for saving and investing. This process involves scrutinizing your spending habits, making intentional choices, and cultivating a mindset of financial prudence. Here, we explore various ways to identify and eliminate wasteful spending, allowing you to maximize the potential of your income. Analyze your spending habits. 1. Monthly review. Regularly review your monthly bank and credit card statements. Look for patterns of spending that seem unnecessary or excessive. For instance, frequent dining out, impulsive online purchases, or multiple streaming service subscriptions can quickly add up. 2. Expense categories. Break down your expenses into categories such as groceries, entertainment, transportation, utilities, and personal care. This detailed breakdown helps pinpoint where your money is going and highlights areas ripe for reduction. Unsubscribe and save. 1. Subscription audit. Assess all your current subscriptions, magazines, streaming services, apps, and memberships. Cancel those that you rarely use or that don't provide significant value. For example, if you have subscriptions to multiple streaming services but primarily use one, consider canceling the others. 2. Membership reevaluation. Examine memberships to gyms, clubs, or professional organizations. If you're not using them regularly, consider pausing or canceling them. Instead, explore free or lower cost alternatives, like home workouts or community based activities. Smart shopping strategies. 1. Buy in bulk. For non-perishable items, buying in bulk can save money in the long run. Warehouse clubs often offer discounts on bulk purchases, but ensure you have the storage space and will use the items before they expire. 2. Generic brands. Opt for generic or store brand products instead of name brands. 
These often have similar quality, but at a fraction of the cost. This simple switch can lead to substantial savings over time. 3. Sales and Coupons Plan your purchases around sales and use coupons to get discounts on items you need. Many stores offer loyalty programs that provide additional savings. Energy and Utility Savings 1. Energy Efficiency Implement energy-saving measures at home. Use energy-efficient appliances, LED light bulbs, and smart thermostats. Simple actions like unplugging devices when not in use and washing clothes in cold water can lower your utility bills. 2. Water conservation. Reduce water usage by fixing leaks, installing low-flow showerheads, and running dishwashers and washing machines only with full loads. These steps can decrease your water bill and contribute to environmental conservation. Transportation Savings 1. Public transportation and carpooling Use public transportation or carpool with colleagues and friends to save on fuel and parking costs. This also reduces wear and tear on your vehicle, leading to lower maintenance expenses. 2. Biking and walking For short distances, consider biking or walking instead of driving. This not only saves money on transportation, but also promotes a healthier lifestyle. Reduce impulse purchases. 1. 24-hour rule. Implement a 24-hour rule for non-essential purchases. If you see something you want to buy, wait 24 hours before making the purchase. This pause can help you determine if it's a need or an impulsive desire. 2. Create a wish list. Instead of buying items immediately, Add them to a wish list. Revisit this list periodically to see if you still want or need those items. Often, the initial urge will pass, and you'll find you don't miss the items you didn't buy. Dining and Entertainment Adjustments 1. Cook at home. Reduce the frequency of dining out by cooking at home. Meal planning and preparing food in batches can make this easier and more cost effective. Not only does this save money, but it can also be healthier. 2. Inexpensive entertainment. Look for free or low-cost entertainment options such as community events, outdoor activities, and library programs. Many communities offer free movie nights, concerts, and festivals that provide fun without the high cost. Insurance and financial products. 1. Insurance comparison. Regularly review and compare your insurance policies. Shop around for better rates and consider bundling your home and auto insurance for discounts. Ensure you're not overpaying for unnecessary coverage. 2. Credit card fees. Avoid unnecessary credit card fees by paying your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Opt for cards with no annual fees and take advantage of rewards programs that align with your spending habits. Mindful consumption. 1. Value-based spending. Spend on what truly matters to you and brings value to your life. Cutting back on things that don't align with your values or goals can free up funds for more meaningful purposes. 2. Minimalist Approach Embrace a minimalist mindset by focusing on owning less but choosing quality over quantity. This approach reduces clutter, simplifies life, and can lead to significant financial savings. Personal Reflection and Adjustment 1. Regular reflection. Periodically reflect on your financial habits and goals. Adjust your spending as needed to ensure it aligns with your evolving priorities and circumstances. 2. Accountability Partner. Consider having an accountability partner to help you stay on track. Share your goals and progress with someone you trust, and encourage each other to make smart financial decisions. By identifying and eliminating wasteful spending, you can significantly enhance your financial health. This process requires ongoing vigilance and a commitment to making mindful choices. The money you save can then be redirected towards building an emergency fund, investing, or achieving other financial goals, ultimately bringing you closer to financial freedom. Conclusion In this chapter, we have explored the foundational skills necessary for mastering budgeting and saving. By creating a sustainable budget, you set the stage for financial success, ensuring your spending aligns with your financial goals. 
Implementing effective saving strategies allows you to increase your savings and build a robust emergency fund, providing security and peace of mind. Finally, by identifying and eliminating wasteful spending, you free up resources that can be redirected toward more meaningful and productive financial pursuits. Mastering budgeting and saving is not just about the numbers. It's about developing a mindset and habits that prioritize financial health and long-term stability. These skills form the bedrock of your financial journey, empowering you to make informed decisions, stay disciplined, and achieve your financial aspirations. With a solid foundation in budgeting and saving, you are now ready to focus on the next crucial aspect of your financial journey, growing your income. In Chapter 3, we will explore strategies for diversifying your income streams, investing in your personal and professional development, and starting a profitable side hustle. These steps will further enhance your financial stability and bring you closer to achieving financial freedom. Chapter 3. Growing Your Income Growing your income is a crucial step on the path to financial freedom, yet it is often a step that overwhelms many people. The prospect of increasing your earnings can seem daunting, especially if you're already juggling multiple responsibilities. However, enhancing your income is vital for getting ahead financially and achieving your long-term goals. Fortunately, there are numerous ways to grow your income without overworking yourself or sacrificing your priorities. By exploring diverse income streams, investing in your personal and professional development, and starting a side hustle, you can create additional revenue sources that complement your lifestyle. This chapter will provide you with practical strategies and insights to help you boost your income, ensuring you can progress toward financial independence with confidence and balance. Diversifying Income Streams – Exploring Various Ways to Generate Additional Income Diversifying your income streams is a powerful strategy for increasing financial stability and accelerating your path to financial freedom. Relying solely on a single source of income can be risky. Unexpected changes in your job or industry can significantly impact your financial well-being. By creating multiple income streams, you reduce risk and open up new opportunities for growth and security. Why diversify your income? 1. Risk mitigation. Having multiple income sources provides a safety net if one stream dries up. It reduces the dependency on a single employer or industry, protecting you from economic downturns or job loss. 2. Financial growth. Additional income streams can significantly boost your overall earnings, allowing you to save more, invest more, and reach your financial goals faster. 3. Flexibility and freedom. Multiple income sources can provide financial flexibility and enable you to pursue passions or interests that may not be possible with a single income. Exploring Various Income Streams 1. Part-time Jobs Taking on a part-time job is a straightforward way to generate extra income. This could be in retail, hospitality, or any industry that offers flexible hours. Look for opportunities that align with your skills and interests to make the experience more enjoyable and sustainable. 2. Freelancing and Consulting If you have expertise in a particular field, freelancing or consulting can be lucrative. Platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, and LinkedIn can help you find clients. Whether you're a writer, designer, programmer, or marketing expert, there's likely a demand for your skills. 3. Rental Income Renting out property can provide a steady income stream. This could be a spare room in your home, an investment property, or even your car through services like Turo. Vacation rental platforms like Airbnb offer opportunities for short-term rentals. 4. Investing in the stock market. Investing in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds can generate passive income through dividends and capital gains. It's essential to educate yourself about the market or consult a financial advisor to make informed decisions. 5. Creating digital products. If you have knowledge or skills that others find valuable, consider creating and selling digital products such as ebooks, online courses, or printables. Websites like Udemy, Teachable, and Etsy are great platforms to market your products. 6. Affiliate Marketing Promote products or services through affiliate marketing. By partnering with companies and earning a commission for every sale made through your referral links, 
you can generate income without maintaining inventory. Websites like Amazon Associates, Share a Sale, and CJ Affiliate offer programs for various niches. 7. Dividend Paying Investments Investing in dividend paying stocks or funds can provide a steady stream of passive income. These investments pay you regularly just for owning them, allowing your money to work for you. 8. Peer to peer lending. Platforms like Lending Club and Prosper allow you to lend money to individuals or small businesses in exchange for interest payments. This can be a high risk, high reward investment, so proceed with caution and diversify your loans to mitigate risk. 9. Real estate crowdfunding. If you're interested in real estate but lack the capital to buy properties outright, consider real estate crowdfunding. Platforms like Fundrise and Realty Mogul allow you to invest in real estate projects with relatively small amounts of money. 10. Royalties and licensing. If you have creative work such as music, books, or software, licensing them can generate ongoing royalty income. Platforms like Shutterstock for photos, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing for ebooks, and TuneCore for music distribution can help you monetize your creations. Tips for Managing Multiple Income Streams 1. Stay organized. Keep detailed records of all income streams, including earnings, expenses, and tax information. Use tools like spreadsheets, accounting software, or financial apps to manage your finances efficiently. 2. Time management. Balancing multiple income streams requires effective time management. Prioritize tasks, set deadlines, and allocate specific times for each income-generating activity to avoid burnout and maintain productivity. 3. Reinvest earnings. Consider reinvesting the earnings from additional income streams into further income-generating activities. This could include expanding a side business, investing in stocks, or purchasing rental properties. 4. Continuous learning. Stay updated with industry trends, market conditions, and new opportunities. Continuous learning and adapting to changes can help you maximize your income potential and stay ahead of the curve. 5. Network and collaborate. Building a network of like-minded individuals can open doors to new opportunities. Collaborate with others to learn from their experiences, gain insights, and potentially create joint ventures. Diversifying your income streams is a proactive approach to enhancing your financial security and achieving your financial goals faster. By exploring various ways to generate additional income, you can create a more resilient financial portfolio that supports your aspirations and provides peace of mind. Investing in yourself. Unlocking potential through education and skill development. Investing in yourself is one of the most valuable investments you can make. Education and skill development not only enhance your career prospects, but also increase your earning potential, job security, and personal satisfaction. In a rapidly changing job market, continuous learning and self-improvement are essential for staying competitive and advancing your career. Here, we explore various strategies to invest in yourself and unlock your full potential. The Power of Education 1. Formal Education Pursuing higher education, such as a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, can open doors to advanced career opportunities and higher salaries. Research the potential return on investment for different degrees and choose a field that aligns with your interests and career goals. 2. Certifications and licenses. Many industries value certifications and licenses that demonstrate specialized knowledge and skills. Examples include project management, PMP, IT certifications, Cisco, CompTIA, financial planning, CFP, and more. These credentials can significantly boost your resume and job prospects. 3. Online courses and workshops. The rise of online learning platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and LinkedIn Learning has made it easier than ever to gain new skills from the comfort of your home. Enroll in courses that enhance your expertise, whether in technical skills, management, or creative fields. Skill development for career advancement. 1. Soft skills. Developing soft skills such as communication, leadership, teamwork, and problem-solving is crucial for career advancement. 
These skills are often the differentiators that can set you apart in the workplace. Attend workshops, participate in team projects, and seek feedback to improve these areas. 2. Technical skills. Staying current with industry-specific technical skills is vital. For example, if you're in IT, keep up with the latest programming languages, software, and tools. If you're in marketing, master digital marketing techniques, SEO, and analytics. Regularly update your skills to remain relevant and valuable. 3. Language skills. Learning a new language can open up international career opportunities and enhance your ability to communicate with diverse teams. Language skills are particularly valuable in global businesses and industries with a strong international presence. Practical steps to invest in yourself. 1. Set clear goals. Identify your career goals and the skills or education needed to achieve them. Create a roadmap with specific milestones and timelines to guide your efforts. 2. Create a learning plan. Develop a personalized learning plan that includes formal education, certifications, and self-study. Allocate time each week for learning and skill development to ensure consistent progress. 3. Utilize employer resources. Many employers offer professional development programs, tuition reimbursement, and training workshops. Take advantage of these resources to enhance your skills and advance your career without incurring significant costs. 4. Network and seek mentorship. Building a strong professional network and seeking mentorship can provide valuable insights, advice, and opportunities. Attend industry conferences, join professional associations, and connect with leaders in your field to expand your network. 5. Stay informed. Keep up with industry trends, news, and advancements. Subscribe to relevant journals, blogs, and podcasts to stay informed about changes and opportunities in your field. 6. Practice continuous improvement. Adopt a mindset of continuous improvement. Regularly assess your progress, seek feedback, and adjust your learning plan as needed. Celebrate your achievements and identify areas for further growth. The Long-Term Benefits of Self-Investment 1. Increased Earning Potential Education and skills development can lead to higher-paying job opportunities and promotions. Employers value employees who demonstrate a commitment to continuous learning and self-improvement. 2. Career Advancement With enhanced skills and knowledge, you become a more competitive candidate for leadership roles and advanced positions. This can lead to greater job satisfaction and career fulfillment. 3. Job security. In an ever-evolving job market, having a diverse skill set and advanced education makes you more adaptable and resilient to changes. This enhances your job security and employability. 4. Personal growth. Investing in yourself contributes to personal growth and self-confidence. As you acquire new skills and achieve your goals, you build a sense of accomplishment and empowerment. Investing in yourself through education and skill development is a lifelong journey that pays substantial dividends. By continuously enhancing your knowledge and abilities, you not only increase your earning potential and career prospects, but also enrich your personal and professional life. Embrace the opportunities to learn and grow, and you'll find that the investment in yourself is one of the most rewarding decisions you can make. The Side Hustle Revolution Practical Steps to Launch and Grow a Profitable Side Business In today's dynamic economy, starting a side hustle has become an increasingly popular way to diversify income, build new skills, and achieve financial goals. A side hustle can provide a valuable income stream without requiring you to leave your full-time job. Whether you're looking to pay off debt, save for a significant purchase, or simply increase your financial security, launching and growing a side business can be a game-changer. Here, we will explore practical steps to start and nurture a profitable side hustle. Identifying your side hustle 1. Assess your skills and interests. Begin by evaluating your existing skills, hobbies, and passions. A successful side hustle often aligns with your interests and strengths, making it more enjoyable and sustainable. Consider what you're good at and what you love doing. 2. Market research. 
Conduct market research to identify opportunities that match your skills. Look for gaps in the market, trends, and potential demand for your services or products. This research will help you refine your idea and understand your target audience. 3. Validate your idea. Before fully committing, validate your side hustle idea. This can be done through surveys, pre-selling your product, or offering your service to a small group of customers. Validation helps ensure there is genuine interest and demand for what you plan to offer. Setting up your side hustle. 1. Create a business plan. Develop a simple business plan outlining your goals, target audience, marketing strategy, and financial projections. A clear plan will guide your efforts and keep you focused. 2. Establish your brand. Choose a name, design a logo, and create a brand identity that reflects your business values and appeals to your target market. A strong brand helps you stand out and build recognition. 3. Set up an online presence. In today's digital age, having an online presence is crucial. Create a professional website and set up social media profiles to showcase your products or services. Utilize platforms like WordPress, Squarespace, or Shopify for easy website creation. 4. Register your business. Depending on your location and the nature of your side hustle, you may need to register your business and obtain necessary licenses or permits. This step ensures you operate legally and protects your brand. Managing your time and resources. 1. Time management. Balancing a side hustle with your full-time job requires effective time management. Schedule dedicated hours for your side hustle and stick to them. Use tools like calendars, planners, or time tracking apps to stay organized. 2. Start small. Begin with manageable projects and gradually scale up. Starting small reduces risk and allows you to refine your processes before taking on larger commitments. 3. Outsource when necessary. As your side hustle grows, consider outsourcing tasks that consume too much of your time or require expertise you lack. This allows you to focus on core activities that drive your business forward. Growing your side hustle. 1. Marketing and promotion. Utilize various marketing strategies to promote your side hustle. Leverage social media, email marketing, content marketing, and paid advertising to reach your target audience. Networking and word-of-mouth referrals are also powerful tools. 2. Deliver quality and build relationships. Provide high-quality products or services consistently. Focus on customer satisfaction and build strong relationships with your clients. Happy customers are more likely to refer others to your business and become repeat buyers. 3. Track your finances. Keep meticulous records of your income and expenses. Use accounting software to manage your finances and ensure you're profitable. Regularly review your financial performance and adjust your strategies as needed. 4. Scale your operations. As demand grows, look for opportunities to scale your operations. This might involve increasing production, expanding your service area, or hiring additional help. Scaling should be strategic and align with your long-term goals. The Hustle Blueprint, your guide to side hustle success. For those looking to dive deeper into the world of side hustles, e the Hustle Blueprint E is an invaluable resource. This audiobook provides detailed insights into various skills and side hustle ideas tailored to each skill set. Whether you're a writer, designer, tech enthusiast, or craftsperson, this guide offers practical advice on how to leverage your talents into a profitable side business. Exclusive to the Better Life Library, you can find the Hustle Blueprint G in the description of this video. Listen to it to gain more inspiration and actionable steps to turn your side hustle dreams into reality. Starting a side hustle is an exciting and empowering journey. By following these practical steps and leveraging resources like the Hustle Blueprint, you can create a thriving side business that complements your lifestyle and financial goals. Embrace the opportunities, stay committed, and watch your side hustle grow into a significant source of income and personal fulfillment. Conclusion In this chapter, 
We explored the critical steps to growing your income by diversifying income streams, investing in yourself, and starting a side hustle. Diversifying your income provides financial stability and opens new opportunities for growth. Investing in your education and skill development ensures you stay competitive and advance in your career. Starting a side hustle allows you to leverage your passions and skills into additional revenue streams, providing flexibility and financial security. By implementing these strategies, you can significantly boost your earning potential and accelerate your journey toward financial freedom. Remember, growing your income is not just about working harder, but working smarter, making informed decisions, and continuously seeking opportunities for improvement. As we move forward, the next chapter will delve into another crucial aspect of financial growth, investing wisely. Chapter 4 will guide you through understanding various investment options, building a diversified portfolio, and developing a long-term investment plan that aligns with your financial goals. By mastering these investment strategies, you can further enhance your financial security and work towards achieving lasting wealth and independence. Chapter 4. Investing Wisely Investing wisely is a cornerstone of achieving long-term financial security and building wealth. While growing your income through diversification and side hustles is crucial, making informed investment decisions is equally important. Wise investments can multiply your wealth, provide passive income, and ensure a comfortable future. Investing in yourself, as we discussed in the previous chapter, should always come first. Enhancing your skills and education offers the highest return on investment by increasing your earning potential and career opportunities. Once you have laid this foundation, you can focus on making strategic investments in various financial instruments to further grow your wealth. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of understanding different investment options, the benefits of building a diversified portfolio, and the essentials of long-term investment planning. By mastering these concepts, you can make informed decisions that align with your financial goals and maximize your returns, setting the stage for a prosperous future. The Investment Landscape a comprehensive overview of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate. Investing is a powerful tool for growing your wealth and achieving financial independence. Understanding the various investment options available is essential to making informed decisions that align with your financial goals. This section provides a comprehensive overview of the four main types of investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate. Each has its own characteristics, benefits, and risks, and a well-rounded investment strategy often includes a mix of these assets. Stocks. Ownership in companies. 1. Definition. Stocks represent ownership shares in a company. When you buy a stock, you become a part owner of that company and gain a claim on its assets and earnings. 2. Benefits. Stocks have the potential for high returns, especially over the long term. They offer dividend income and capital appreciation as the company grows and becomes more profitable. 3. Risks. Stocks can be volatile and their prices can fluctuate significantly in the short term due to market conditions, economic factors, and company performance. There is a risk of losing your investment if the company performs poorly. 4. Considerations. Investing in a diversified portfolio of stocks can mitigate some risks. Researching and choosing companies with strong fundamentals and growth potential is crucial for long-term success. Bonds. Lending to Entities. 1. Definition. Bonds are debt securities issued by governments, municipalities, and corporations to raise capital. When you buy a bond, you are essentially lending money to the issuer in exchange for periodic interest payments and the return of the bond's face value at maturity. 2. Benefits. Bonds provide a steady stream of income through interest payments, making them a safer and more predictable investment compared to stocks. They are generally less volatile and can act as a stabilizing force in an investment portfolio. 3. Risks. Bonds are subject to interest rate risk, the risk that rising interest rates will cause bond prices to fall, credit risk, the risk that the issuer will default on payments, and inflation risk, the risk that inflation will erode the purchasing power of interest payments. 4. Considerations. Diversifying across different types of bonds, government, 
municipal, corporate, and varying maturities can help manage risks. Understanding the credit quality of the issuer is also important. Mutual funds, pooling resources for diversification. 1. Definition. Mutual funds are investment vehicles that pool money from many investors to purchase a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other securities. They are managed by professional fund managers. 2. Benefits. Mutual funds offer instant diversification, which reduces risk compared to investing in individual stocks or bonds. They are accessible to individual investors and provide professional management. 3. Risks. Mutual funds charge management fees and other expenses that can eat into returns. The performance of the fund depends on the skill of the fund manager and the market conditions. 4. Considerations. Researching the fund's investment strategy, historical performance, fees, and the reputation of the fund manager can help you choose funds that align with your financial goals. Index funds, a type of mutual fund, often have lower fees and track a specific market index. Real estate, tangible assets with potential for appreciation. 1. Definition. Real estate investing involves purchasing property such as residential homes, commercial buildings, or land with the expectation of earning a return through rental income, appreciation, or both. 2. Benefits. Real estate can provide regular rental income and potential for significant capital appreciation. It also offers tax advantages and can act as a hedge against inflation. 3. Risks. Real estate requires substantial upfront capital and ongoing maintenance costs. It can be illiquid, meaning it may take time to sell a property when needed. Market conditions, location, and property management can significantly impact returns. 4. Considerations. Investing in different types of properties, residential, commercial, industrial, and various locations can help diversify your real estate portfolio. Understanding the local market, property management, and financial analysis is crucial for success in real estate investing. By understanding the characteristics, benefits, and risks of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate, you can make more informed investment decisions. Diversifying your investments across these different asset classes can help spread risk and enhance the potential for returns. In the next section, we will delve into strategies for building a diversified portfolio that maximizes returns while managing risk. The Art of Balance – Building a Diversified Portfolio Creating a diversified portfolio is essential for managing risk and maximizing returns. Diversification involves spreading your investments across various asset classes, sectors, and geographies to reduce the impact of any single investment's poor performance. A well-diversified portfolio can help you achieve steady growth and protect your investments from market volatility. Here, we explore strategies for building and maintaining a diversified portfolio. Why diversify? 1. Risk Management Diversification reduces the risk of significant losses because the poor performance of one asset can be offset by the better performance of others. It protects your portfolio from being too heavily impacted by a downturn in any single investment. 2. Steady returns. By investing in a variety of assets, you can achieve more stable returns over time. Different assets perform differently under various economic conditions, so diversification helps balance these fluctuations. 3. Opportunities for growth. Diversifying your portfolio gives you exposure to a broader range of investment opportunities, increasing your potential for growth. Strategies for diversification. 1. Asset allocation. The foundation of diversification is asset allocation, which involves dividing your portfolio among different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and cash. The right mix depends on your risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. Stocks. Typically, stocks offer higher potential returns but come with higher volatility. They should be a significant part of your portfolio if you have a long-term investment horizon and can tolerate short-term fluctuations. Bonds. Bonds provide more stable returns and income. They are less volatile than stocks and can help balance the risk in your portfolio. Real estate. 
Investing in real estate can offer both income, through rents, and appreciation. Real estate often moves independently of the stock market, adding another layer of diversification. Cash and cash equivalents, these provide liquidity and security, acting as a buffer against market downturns. They can be easily accessed for emergencies or investment opportunities. 2. Geographic diversification. Spread your investments across different regions and countries. Global diversification reduces the risk associated with economic or political issues in any single country. Domestic investments. Investing in your home country provides familiarity and easier access to market information. International investments, including international stocks and bonds, can enhance diversification and offer growth opportunities in emerging markets. 3. Sector diversification. Within each asset class, diversify across various sectors and industries. This strategy ensures that your portfolio is not overly exposed to any single sector's risks. Technology, healthcare, finance, energy, consumer goods, etc. Allocate investments to a mix of sectors that can perform differently depending on economic conditions. 4. Investment styles. Incorporate different investment styles, such as growth and value investing, to balance your portfolio. Growth investments. Focus on companies expected to grow at an above average rate. These stocks may be more volatile, but can offer substantial returns. Value investments. Focus on undervalued companies trading at lower prices relative to their fundamentals. These stocks may provide stability and income. 5. Types of securities. Within stocks and bonds, diversify by including different types of securities. Stocks, large cap, mid cap, small cap, and international stocks. Bonds, government bonds, municipal bonds, corporate bonds, and international bonds. Maintaining your diversified portfolio. 1. Regular review and rebalancing. Periodically review your portfolio to ensure it remains aligned with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Rebalancing involves adjusting your portfolio back to its target asset allocation by buying or selling assets. Annual or semi-annual reviews. Regular reviews help you stay on track and make necessary adjustments based on changes in the market or your financial situation. Rebalancing strategies. Rebalance at a set interval, e.g., annually, or when your asset allocation deviates significantly from your target, e.g., by 5% or more. 2. Stay informed. Keep up to date with market trends, economic indicators, and changes in your investments. This knowledge helps you make informed decisions and adapt your strategy as needed. 3. Diversify over time. Continue to diversify your portfolio as you invest more money. Dollar cost averaging, the practice of regularly investing a fixed amount regardless of market conditions, can help reduce the impact of market volatility. The role of professional advice. 1. Financial advisors. Consider working with a financial advisor to help design and manage a diversified portfolio tailored to your needs. Advisors can provide valuable insights help you stay disciplined, and make adjustments based on market conditions. 2. Robo-advisors. For a more automated approach, robo-advisors use algorithms to create and manage diversified portfolios based on your risk tolerance and goals. They offer a convenient and cost-effective way to invest. Building a diversified portfolio is both an art and a science. It requires careful planning, ongoing management, and a clear understanding of your financial goals. By spreading your investments across various asset classes, regions, and sectors, you can manage risk and position yourself for long-term success. In the next section, we will delve into long-term investment planning, helping you develop a strategy that aligns with your financial aspirations and sets the stage for a secure and prosperous future. Vision for the Future Crafting a Long-Term Investment Plan Long-term investment planning is essential for achieving your financial goals and securing your future. A well-structured plan provides a roadmap for your financial journey, helping you navigate market fluctuations and stay focused on your objectives. Developing a long-term investment plan involves setting clear goals, understanding your risk tolerance, 
choosing appropriate investment strategies, and regularly reviewing and adjusting your plan. Here's how to create a comprehensive long-term investment plan that aligns with your financial goals. Setting clear financial goals. 1. Identify your objectives. Start by defining your financial goals. These can include retirement, buying a home, funding education, or building wealth. Be specific about what you want to achieve and set a timeline for each goal. 2. Prioritize your goals. Rank your goals based on importance and urgency. This helps you allocate resources effectively and stay focused on your most critical objectives. 3. Quantify your goals. Determine the amount of money you need to achieve each goal. For example, estimate the cost of your child's college education or the amount you need for a comfortable retirement. Use financial calculators or consult with a financial advisor to get accurate figures. Understanding your risk tolerance. 1. Assess your risk appetite. Your risk tolerance depends on factors such as your age, financial situation, investment experience, and comfort level with market volatility. Understanding your risk tolerance helps you choose investments that align with your comfort level. 2. Time horizon. Your investment horizon, the time you have until you need to access your money, affects your risk tolerance. Longer time horizons generally allow for higher risk investments, while shorter time horizons require more conservative choices. Choosing investment strategies. 1. Asset allocation. Determine the appropriate mix of asset classes, stocks, bonds, real estate, cash, based on your risk tolerance and time horizon. Asset allocation is crucial for managing risk and optimizing returns. 2. Diversification. Within each asset class, diversify your investments to spread risk. This includes investing in various sectors, geographic regions, and types of securities. Diversification helps protect your portfolio from market volatility. 3. Investment Vehicles Choose the right investment vehicles to achieve your goals. Consider individual stocks and bonds, mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and real estate investment trusts, REITs. Each vehicle has its own risk and return characteristics. 4. Active versus Passive investing. Decide whether you want to actively manage your investments or take a passive approach. Active investing involves selecting individual securities and timing the market, while passive investing involves holding a diversified portfolio that tracks a market index. Creating a Timeline and Milestones 1. Short-Term Goals Goals you aim to achieve within the next one to five years. These might include saving for a down payment on a house or an emergency fund. 4. Short-Term Goals Consider low-risk, liquid investments like high-yield savings accounts or short-term bonds. 2. Medium-Term Goals Goals you plan to achieve within five to ten years. Examples include funding a child's education or a significant home renovation. A balanced mix of stocks and bonds can be suitable for medium-term goals. 3. Long-term goals. Goals you aim to achieve in 10-plus years, such as retirement planning. Long-term goals can tolerate more risk, so a higher allocation to stocks and growth-oriented investments is typically appropriate. Monitoring and adjusting your plan. 1. Regular reviews. Review your investment plan at least annually or whenever significant life changes occur, e.g., marriage, having children, changing jobs. Regular reviews help ensure your plan remains aligned with your goals and risk tolerance. 2. Rebalancing. Rebalance your portfolio periodically to maintain your desired asset allocation. This involves selling assets that have grown disproportionately and buying those that have lagged keeping your portfolio aligned with your risk tolerance. 3. Adjusting for life changes. Be prepared to adjust your plan as your financial situation and goals evolve. Major life events, such as a new job, inheritance, or changes in family dynamics, may require you to reassess your investment strategy. 4. Stay informed. Keep up to date with market trends, economic conditions, and changes in investment options. 
Staying informed allows you to make better decisions and adapt your plan to changing circumstances. Seeking Professional Guidance 1. Financial Advisors Consider working with a financial advisor to develop and manage your long-term investment plan. Advisors can provide personalized advice, help you navigate complex financial decisions, and keep you on track. 2. Robo-Advisors For a more cost-effective solution, robo-advisors offer automated investment management based on your risk profile and goals. They use algorithms to create and maintain diversified portfolios, making long-term investing accessible to everyone. Crafting a long-term investment plan is a dynamic and ongoing process that requires thoughtful planning, regular monitoring, and the flexibility to adapt to life's changes. By setting clear goals, understanding your risk tolerance, choosing the right investment strategies, and staying disciplined, you can build a robust plan that aligns with your financial aspirations. This approach not only helps you achieve your goals, but also provides the peace of mind that comes with knowing you have a solid roadmap for your financial future. Conclusion In this chapter, we have explored the essential aspects of investing wisely to secure your financial future. Understanding the various investment options, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate, equips you with the knowledge to make informed decisions. Building a diversified portfolio helps manage risk and maximize returns, providing a balanced approach to investing. Developing a long-term investment plan that aligns with your financial goals ensures you stay on track and adapt to changing circumstances. Investing wisely is a continuous process that requires discipline, regular review, and a willingness to adjust your strategy as needed. By implementing the principles discussed in this chapter, you are well on your way to achieving financial security and building lasting wealth. As we move forward, the next chapter will focus on protecting and preserving your wealth. We will explore risk management and insurance, estate planning essentials, and the importance of maintaining financial discipline. These strategies are crucial for safeguarding the wealth you've worked hard to build and ensuring it benefits you and your loved ones for generations to come. Chapter 5 Protecting and Preserving Wealth Accumulating wealth is only part of the journey to financial freedom. Protecting and preserving it is equally important. The ability to safeguard your assets against unforeseen events and ensure their longevity is crucial for maintaining financial stability. This chapter focuses on strategies to protect your hard-earned wealth from risks, both expected and unexpected. By implementing sound risk management practices, securing adequate insurance, and planning your estate, you can ensure that your wealth not only grows but also endures, providing security and peace of mind for you and your loved ones. Protecting your wealth is a vital step in sustaining the financial foundation you've built and ensuring it remains intact for future generations. Shielding your assets, the role of risk management and insurance. Protecting your wealth involves more than just growing your assets. It requires a proactive approach to managing risks and ensuring that you are adequately insured against potential threats. Risk management and insurance are crucial components of a robust financial strategy, providing a safety net that helps preserve your financial stability and peace of mind. The importance of risk management. 1. Identifying risks. The first step in risk management is identifying potential risks that could impact your financial well-being. These risks can be personal, health issues, job loss, property-related, damage to your home or car, or liability risks, legal actions, business liabilities. 2. Evaluating impact. Once risks are identified, evaluate their potential impact on your finances. Consider the likelihood of each risk and the severity of its consequences. This assessment helps prioritize which risks need immediate attention and which can be managed over time. 3. Mitigation Strategies Develop strategies to mitigate identified risks. This might include lifestyle changes, safety measures, and financial planning adjustments. For instance, maintaining a healthy lifestyle can reduce health risks while regular maintenance can protect your property from damage. The Role of Insurance 1. Health Insurance Health insurance is essential for covering medical expenses and protecting against the financial burden of unexpected health issues. 
It ensures access to necessary medical care without depleting your savings. 2. Life Insurance Life insurance provides financial security for your loved ones in the event of your untimely death. It can cover expenses such as funeral costs, debts, and living expenses, ensuring that your family is taken care of. 3. Disability insurance Disability insurance replaces a portion of your income if you become unable to work due to illness or injury. This coverage is crucial for maintaining financial stability during periods of disability. 4. Homeowners and Renters Insurance Homeowners insurance protects against damage to your home and personal property, as well as liability for accidents that occur on your property. Renters insurance offers similar protection for personal belongings and liability, even if you don't own your home. 5. Auto Insurance Auto insurance covers the cost of accidents, theft, and damage to your vehicle. It also provides liability coverage if you are responsible for injuries or damage to others in an accident. 6. Liability Insurance Personal liability insurance, such as umbrella insurance, provides additional coverage beyond standard policies. It protects your assets from significant legal claims and lawsuits. Implementing Risk Mitigation and Insurance Strategies 1. Regular Review and Updates Regularly review your insurance policies to ensure they meet your current needs. Life changes such as marriage, having children, or purchasing a home can necessitate adjustments in coverage. 2. Adequate coverage. Ensure you have sufficient coverage to protect against major risks. Underinsuring can leave you vulnerable, while overinsuring can waste money. Striking the right balance is key. 3. Emergency fund. Maintain an emergency fund to cover unexpected expenses. This fund acts as a financial buffer, reducing the need to rely on insurance for minor incidents and allowing you to handle deductibles and uncovered costs. 4. Consulting professionals. Work with insurance agents and financial advisors to understand your risk profile and insurance needs. Professionals can help you choose appropriate coverage and ensure you are adequately protected. The Benefits of Effective Risk Management and Insurance 1. Financial Security Effective risk management and adequate insurance provide financial security by protecting your assets and income from unexpected events. This security allows you to pursue your financial goals with confidence. 2. Peace of Mind Knowing that you have measures in place to handle potential risks brings peace of mind. It reduces anxiety about the future and allows you to focus on building and enjoying your wealth. 3. Long-term stability. By mitigating risks and securing insurance coverage, you ensure long-term financial stability. This stability is crucial for preserving your wealth and maintaining your standard of living, even in the face of adversity. Risk management and insurance are fundamental aspects of protecting and preserving your wealth. By identifying potential risks, implementing mitigation strategies, and securing adequate insurance coverage, you create a robust financial safety net. This proactive approach not only safeguards your assets, but also provides the peace of mind and stability needed to achieve and maintain financial independence. Steadfast stewardship, staying committed to your financial plan and adapting to changes. Maintaining financial discipline is crucial for protecting and preserving your wealth over the long term. Staying committed to your financial plan requires a blend of dedication, flexibility, and foresight. It's about adhering to the strategies you've set in place while being prepared to adapt to life's inevitable changes. Financial discipline begins with a clear, well-defined financial plan. This plan serves as a roadmap guiding your decisions and actions towards achieving your financial goals. Whether your objectives include retirement, purchasing a home, or funding your children's education, having a structured plan keeps you focused and on track. The foundation of maintaining discipline is regularly revisiting and reviewing this plan. Set aside time, at least annually, to assess your progress, ensuring you're meeting your milestones and adjusting as necessary. Creating a budget and sticking to it is a fundamental aspect of financial discipline. A budget helps you track your income and expenses, highlighting areas where you can cut back or save more. By living within your means and avoiding unnecessary debt, 
you protect your financial health and set the stage for long-term wealth accumulation. It's important to be realistic with your budget, allowing some flexibility for unforeseen expenses while prioritizing savings and investments. Another key component of financial discipline is managing debt wisely. High interest debt, such as credit card balances, can quickly erode your wealth if not managed effectively. Focus on paying off high interest debts first, and consider strategies like debt consolidation to simplify payments and reduce interest costs. Avoid taking on new debt unless absolutely necessary, and ensure any borrowing aligns with your financial plan and goals. Building an emergency fund is an essential part of maintaining financial stability. An emergency fund acts as a financial buffer, protecting you from unexpected expenses such as medical emergencies, car repairs, or job loss. Aim to save three to six months' worth of living expenses in a readily accessible account. This fund not only provides peace of mind, but also prevents you from dipping into long-term savings or investments during times of crisis. Adapting to changes is equally important in maintaining financial discipline. Life is unpredictable, and your financial plan must be flexible enough to accommodate changes in circumstances. Whether it's a career change, a new family member, or economic shifts, being prepared to adjust your plan is crucial. Regularly updating your financial goals and strategies ensures they remain relevant and attainable. Investing in continued education and staying informed about financial trends and market conditions can significantly enhance your ability to adapt. This knowledge allows you to make informed decisions, whether it's rebalancing your investment portfolio or exploring new income opportunities. Being proactive and informed helps you stay ahead of potential financial challenges and capitalize on new opportunities. Accountability plays a vital role in maintaining financial discipline. Sharing your financial goals with a trusted friend, family member, or financial advisor can provide the support and encouragement needed to stay on track. Regular check-ins and discussions about your progress can help reinforce your commitment and identify areas for improvement. Ultimately, maintaining financial discipline is about fostering a mindset of long-term thinking and resilience. It requires patience, perseverance, and the ability to stay focused on your goals despite short-term temptations or setbacks. By staying committed to your financial plan and being adaptable to life's changes, you safeguard your wealth and ensure a stable and prosperous future. Steadfast stewardship of your finances involves a balance of unwavering commitment to your financial plan and the flexibility to adapt as circumstances change. This disciplined approach not only protects your wealth, but also empowers you to achieve your financial goals and secure a financially stable future. Conclusion Protecting and preserving your wealth is essential for ensuring long-term financial security and achieving your goals. By implementing effective risk management and insurance strategies, you safeguard your assets against unforeseen events. Estate planning ensures that your wealth is distributed according to your wishes and benefits future generations. Maintaining financial discipline, by staying committed to your plan and adapting to changes, provides stability and fosters continued growth. Together, these practices create a robust framework that protects your financial legacy and supports a prosperous future for you and your loved ones. Embracing financial freedom, your journey to prosperity and peace of mind. As we conclude this journey toward financial freedom, it's important to reflect on the key principles and strategies that will guide you toward a secure and prosperous future. Each chapter of this book has laid out a comprehensive roadmap, from laying a solid financial foundation to protecting and preserving your wealth. Now, let's bring it all together with some final thoughts and encouragement. Investing in yourself. Your most valuable asset is you. Investing in your education, skills, and personal development yields the highest returns. By continually growing and adapting, you enhance your earning potential and create more opportunities for financial success. Never underestimate the power of self-investment. It sets the stage for everything else you do. Creating habits around budgeting. Budgeting is the backbone of financial management. Creating and maintaining a sustainable budget ensures that your spending aligns with your goals and helps you make the most of your resources. Developing good financial habits 
such as tracking expenses, cutting unnecessary costs, and prioritizing savings, builds a strong foundation for financial stability. These habits become the guardrails that keep you on track and moving toward your goals. Setting short, medium, and long-term goals. Goals give direction and purpose to your financial journey. Short-term goals provide immediate targets that keep you motivated, medium-term goals bridge the gap between immediate needs and future aspirations, and long-term goals map out your ultimate financial destination. By setting realistic, measurable, and time-bound goals, you create a clear path to follow. Regularly reviewing and adjusting these goals ensures they remain relevant and achievable as your circumstances evolve. Diversifying Income and Investments Diversifying your income streams and investment portfolio is crucial for risk management and growth. By exploring various ways to generate additional income, you reduce dependence on a single source and increase financial resilience. Similarly, diversifying your investments across different asset classes helps spread risk and optimize returns. A well-balanced approach to income and investments supports long-term financial health. Protecting and preserving wealth. Accumulating wealth is just the beginning. Protecting it ensures its longevity. Implementing effective risk management and insurance strategies safeguards your assets from unforeseen events. Estate planning secures your legacy, ensuring your wealth benefits your loved ones and aligns with your wishes. Maintaining financial discipline by staying committed to your plan and adapting to changes provides stability and fosters continued growth. Final encouragement. Remember, financial freedom is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, perseverance, and a willingness to learn and adapt. Along the way, celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Each step forward, each goal achieved, is a testament to your commitment and effort. Stay motivated by keeping your vision of financial independence in sight. Surround yourself with supportive people who encourage your financial growth and hold you accountable. Stay informed, seek professional advice when needed, and remain proactive in managing your finances. You have the tools, knowledge, and determination to create a secure and prosperous future. By investing in yourself, building strong financial habits, setting clear goals, and protecting your wealth, you are well on your way to achieving financial freedom. Embrace the journey, stay committed, and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing you are in control of your financial destiny. Here's to your success and the bright future ahead.